Hello dear children of class 10th and 12th who appeared in their board exam that is board exam 2022 this year there's an important update by CBSE on security pin for digi locker accounts of class 10th and 12th students who appeared in their board exams this year now through this update CBSE has intimated to all of you about the six digit security pin that you can use to activate your digi locker accounts and thereafter you will be able to download your digital academic documents such as your mark sheets your passing certificate your migration certificate using digi locker so let me just take you to the cbsc portal cbsc.gov.in and i have put this in my address bar cbsc.gov.in and when i click on main website i'll be taken to the cbsc home page and there you know at uh, this thing uh, latest at cbsc under this section the very first uh, uh, information is this like security pin the very first thing that is getting flashed is security pin for digi locker accounts of class 10th and 12th students to access their digital academic documents now this is not a link there are two links that follow one is the circular for this thing and another is the user manual so when you will click on the circular link this circular regarding uh, this digi locker uh, security pin information is going to open up and when you will click on this user manual this is a user manual that cbsc has requested uh, to you know uh, to schools to uh, forward it to the students so that you can they can know how uh, they have to download their digital academic documents using this digi locker fine so i have already downloaded these uh, two pdfs i'll provide the links for the user manual as well as the circular in the video's description do watch it uh, sorry do go through it and i'll take you to the circular first fine and what let's see what the circular has to say uh in this circular see let's see first check the, it's dated 15 7 2022 fine uh latest circular hai so to the principal head uh principal or head all schools affiliated to cbsc it's addressed to the principal or head of all schools affiliated to cbsc the subject just listen to it uh, listen to me carefully subject reads security pin for digi locker accounts of class 10th and 12th students to access their digital academic documents so these are mark sheets come your passing certificates your migration certificates uh, migration would be i think it's uh, like uh, 10th class children they get their mark sheets and class 12 children they get their migration and pass certificates pertaining to board results 2022 exam fine so what the circular reads it says dear sir madam you are aware that for many years cbsc in technical collaboration with negd uh, that is national e governance division is opening digi locker accounts of class 10th and 12th students every year in advance and providing digital academic documents through its digital academic repository parinam manjusha immediately after declaration of results so every year in advance cbsc provides uh the digital academic documents you know especially th this was a very useful thing during the pandemic times where the uh, cbsc cbsc was not able to like uh, students require these documents especially class 12 students seeking admission in different universities they required their documents on time so cbsc has been providing these the digitized copies the digitized verified copies of these documents uh, on the digi locker accounts of students every year so uh, let's see what cbsc is conveying this year the results of board exam 2022 will be declared shortly fine so cbsc has not released any data as yet but it is saying it will be declared shortly in order to further strengthen security and privacy of students data fine because your data is of utmost important to you as well as your school as well as, as well as cbsc so to ensure secure and privacy security and privacy of your data cbsc has decided to introduce a six digit security pin based activation six digit fine six digit security pin based activation for students digit digi locker account so your digi locker account is going to be activated through the six digit security pin after activation of digi locker account students can access their digital academic documents under the issued documents section so under this section you will be able to access your digital 
digital digital academic documents the security the student wise security pin is being given in schools in their digi locker accounts from there schools can download and disseminate security pin to individual students fine so schools will be sent this these pins will be sent to the respective schools and there they will be uh, they will be forwarding it to the students in a secure manner so schools can follow the below mentioned steps to download the security pin file for their students this information is for students it is for the school people okay the school heads and the school authorities so uh, i'm sure they must have um, gone through it by now a school will go to this link that cbsc has provided and they will log in using their loc credentials and select login as school from the drop down list fine so they'll sign in as their school using their loc credentials and then they will be uh, getting this link download pin file option on the left panel of the scre screen once their credentials are verified they'll get this download pin file option on the left panel of the screen uh, after clicking on this a new screen will appear from where the schools can download the pin for class 10 students and for class 12 students so this is for the school this is not for the children and after downloading the file schools can share these pins fine individually board is emphasize that these pins have to be shared individually so that the security and the privacy is not compromised in any way with the respective students in a secure manner also now cbsc has provided a user manual to guide the students for accessing the digi locker available on the same page fine so school must download this user manual and share it with the students so you are going to get two things from you, your school side your security pin six digit security pin and you'll also get this user manual fine and the link of the user manual is also available on the cbsc website as i showed to you and this has been signed by director it and projects dr antariksh jori fine so let me take you to the user manual i hope this circular is clear to all of you and let's see what are the what the user manual has to tell us so this when you open this this is cbsc results 2022 cbsc board uh, just a second children cbsc board this is cbsc results 2022 user manual and it is for students so this is step wise user guide to access 10th and 12th mark sheets come passing certificate and migration certificate fine so dekhte hain isme kya karna hai first of all children you have to visit this url that is uh, students can visit this url this url is given to you you have to visit this url and this is https cbscservices.digilocker.gov.in activate cbsc i'll just open it for you because i don't have any such data with me but still i'll show it to you what happens when you click on this let me just wait beta and then you will be like uh, for initiation of digi locker account confirmation process to aapko jo first step hai first step that you have to take as a student you have to click on this link you have to go to this link click on this link for initiation of digi locker account confirmation process once reached read the instructions carefully and keep the necessary information re ready and then click on get started with account confirmation so this this screenshot that is there on your screens ye yahi khulega bachcha jab aap link par open karoge 10th and 12th 2022 cbsc students digi locker account confirmation cbsc students shall create their uh, digi locker accounts here mark sheets and other certificates will be made available in their account when results are announced steps to confirm account you have to first enter six digit pin provided by your school contact your school if you have not received it verify details provide your mobile number and validate with the otp received on your mobile number your digi locker account will be verified and created students can access their mark sheets in their account after declaration of results so once your results are declared you will be able to access your mark sheets from the digi locker account but first step is you, know, you have to first of all get started with this digi locker account confirmation process for this i have showed you this is the kind, this is where you have to this is the url that that you have to click in order to reach this page fine now what happens after you reach this page to confirm your digi locker account you know sabse baad uske baad aapko get started with account confirmation karna hai so let me just click it no problem i have clicked on get started with account confirmation yahan se sabse pehle aapko apni class select karni hai theek hai aur class 10th ya 12th aapko select karke you have to provide this information your school code your roll number and the six digit security pin given by school fine to itna karne ke baad theek 
To confirm your DigiLocker account, you have to select your class 10th or 12th, then enter your school code, your roll number, your six digit security pin and then click on next. When you will click on next because now rest you will have to check for yourself because I don't have any such details with me. This sort of a screen is going to open up. Fine, after entering the details, when you will click on next, this sort of a screen is going to open up. Now, now this is the screen that we were talking about. You have roll number. Dala. Sorry, this is the school code, this is the roll number and suppose this is the pin. They have given some fictitious code. Po pin dalte vakar, encrypted dikhega. It's not going to be visible. Fine. So, aap jo bhi six digit ka pin hai, be very careful as this pin given by you, uh, the pin that has been given to you by your school, you have to exactly enter the same pin. Fine. And then you have to click on next button. Your basic details will be shown as under and uh, then you have to enter your 10 digit mobile number and click on the submit button fine so aapki basic details dikha dete yahan par kaise aayengi jaise your name will be shown when after clicking on next the next screen will show your basic details like your name your gender your date of birth and they have also mentioned that if you are a class 10th student you will also be prompted to enter your date of birth fine 12th walon ke liye nahi hai but if you are a class 12th uh, 10th student you will also be prompted to enter your a date of birth fine when you click on mobile number and click on submit sorry when you enter your mobile number and click on submit an otp will be sent on your mobile number fine now enter this otp which is the one time password received on your mobile number okay next screen will you check your mobile you will receive an otp when you click on submit this this screen is going to open up here you have to enter your otp fine that has been uh, that will be sent uh, on your registered mobile number that you provided up in the previous step enter the OTP number and then again click on submit your digi locker account if the OTP is correctly entered if you have carried all these steps carefully and correctly your digi locker account will be activated after entering the correct OTP so upon successful uh, uh, your confirmation click on go to digi locker account so this is the kind of screen you are going to get that 10 10 12 20 22 cbsc students digi locker account confirmations so the six digit pin cbsc sent you you have confirmed your digi locker account has been confirmed uh, through the verification process by providing that six digit pin congratulations your digi locker account has been created successfully and now you have to click on this button go to digi locker account fine once you will go to your digi locker account this is going to open up for you fine here you have this issued documents issued documents a sec okay na a link once the CBSC results from your class get published, you will view your digital mark sheet come certificate, come migration certificate under issued document section. So this is the on the left hand side, you have this issued document section. If you will click on this, they, you, after result declaration, you will be able to access your digital academic documents. Fine. And in case you have an already, uh, uh, you have a DigiLocker account already, you must have followed some other process. The general process that normally I followed or maybe some of you must have been followed too prior to the six digit security pin verification method then your uh, then what you have to do, you have to, they're saying after this step that go to DigiLocker account, uh, you will have to search for the required documents from this option. Okay, I'll just read it out and show it to you. In case you are already a registered user of DigiLocker, that is your mobile number is already registered with DigiLocker, you may be prompted with the following message like, please click on go to DigiLocker account. Fine. And for DigiLocker accounts activated using six digit pin, like CBS is told, the mark sheets are automatically pushed to the issued section. Fine. You will get the six digit pin method se aapne kiya, so you will get through here. Search uh, issued documents aapko mil jayega. And however, if you have not registered using the six digit pin, you have created using the general process, the user must search and pull their mark sheets by manually entering the search parameter. So I think this is the place from where you will be, in, uh, you know, manually able to enter your search parameter and access the DigiLocker, uh, access your digital academic documents. Fine, this is the site they've provided for uh, any quick queries or assistance. You can contact the DigiLocker support team at this URL. Fine, so this was about how you have to 
uh, use the six digit security pin given by CBSC to activate your DigiLocker account and then when, once the results will be declared you will be able to access your digital documents such as your mark sheets, your pass certificates, your migration certificates under the issued section document. So I hope this video will be, uh, you know, you must have found this video useful and do let me know in the comment section if you have any other queries and children till we meet again. Happy learning. Wish you all the best for your result. I'm sure all of you are going to come out with flying colors and uh, my best wishes and my blessings are with you. So on this note, all the best. God bless you. Take care children. Goodbye. See you soon. Not goodbye. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.